Ah, oh, my hearty, it's a very good morning to you. It is me, Scotty McClure. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our Saturday morning pop-up. Very, very early, of course, but I know that you like that, so do come and join us for a quick chit-chat on Saturday morning. Let us know what you're up to. Let's have an exchange of knowledge. And uh, it is fantastic stuff. A man, you need to go and grow up. So there we are. We don't want rubbish like you on here. Thank you. <laughs> we had a wee troll just, uh, just popping up right away. You do get that occasionally. If you're very, very famous in public life, you will get the odd idiot on and you have to sort them out. So there we are. Hi, Scotty. Johnny Boy, good morning. Lovely to have you with us and welcome, welcome, welcome. That was funny, wasn't it? Starting there, a wee troll there. Scotty, how are you? Kareem, lovely to have you with us and Dinky Doo, fantastic stuff. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely lovely to be with you and a very very good Saturday morning to all of you, of course. Thank you for coming and joining us. All right, Scotty. Hi, I love your accent. Is it a sunny day where you are? It was raining, but the sun has come out now. So I've just put the washing out. I like to join, but little English. Have a good morning from the Philippines. You're very, very welcome. Do join us. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you, Kareem. Appreciate it. Hey, yo, mate. Dinky do. There's a gentleman giving us his first name, and it begins with an F. Well done. So there we are. Big love from Steel City. Ah, Christian, I miss Steel City. I love, love, love the beautiful Sheffield. Yorkshire, Saturday morning. Aye, ah, that's it. You fancy a bacon butt, eh? <laughs> Do you start the day with a Scottish fried breakfast? Johnny boy, it's bacon and egg this morning. So nothing too over the top. We might dip a little bit of bread as well. Scotty, my house is sold. I've bought one. June entry. Nervous. Kareem, fantastic. Please don't be. You've done awfully well. Your house must have sold in a trice. Hey, Scotty, what are you up to? Angie, good morning. I thought we'd pop up on Saturday. You know, we're doing random pop-ups just to check what's the best time for everyone. And I thought I'd pop up. Good morning from Musselbra. Paul, we love Musselbra. Dinky do. Fantastic stuff. So there we are. Up the owls, mate. Absolutely. <laughs> the old Hillsborough team there. Scotty, dinky do. Celtic, good morning. Good morning, Radio. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Radio Willis is in the house. There we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, guys, if you've just joined us for the first time, it's Scotty McClure, first lord of the internet, world stop broadcaster, just going live for you on TikTok. Morning, Scotty. Dinky do from Cheltenham. Ah, Cheltenham. I saw things the other day. It looked fantastic. Um, I leave now expecting next notification to your next live. Thank you, the. There we are. Scotty, thoughts on the new Alba party. Very, very interesting, Kareem. I haven't got my head round it 100%. And as you know, I like to know about things 100% uh, before I start to make comments. But it's very, very interesting. And it's another independence party for Scotland. So it must surely strengthen things. So there we are. Morning, Scotty. Dinky do. Shush you. Can we shush, please? Celtic's got a wee bit of a heat on them. That's fine. I've told them to be quiet, Celtic. So you shouldn't. Morning from Liverpool. Jim, we love the bones of Liverpool. Dinky do. Where are you from in Scotland? Uh, we're from uh, Glasgow. There we are. There's Faye, Dinky do. Faye, quite nice to see the old Union flag. I think it will become passe soon. When Scotland leaves, then it's just going to leave you really with a, I suppose, a St. George's Cross. There we are. No, maybe we'll have the little St. Patrick's cross as well. So you'll have a diagonal and a hot cross bun in the middle. But the blue background and the uh, white diagonal will have gone. Glad Springs here. Can't wait for the lighter nights and the warmer weather. Already, Willis, I've just put a washing out. Now it's months 
since I could do that, I can't tell you. There we are. Is your cap badge available to buy? No, Diane, but as soon as I do get some, I will let you all know, and we'll do you a nice deal on it. Scotty McClure, dinky do, fantastic stuff. So there we are. Uh, Jim, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. So there we are. Now, Grace, that's a very silly question. Everybody supports. So there you go. That's like asking people what their pronouns are. On here, we don't because we are inclusive. Yes? So there we are. So you'll just have to accept this is the most inclusive TikTok live everywhere in the world. I remember the new Glasgow airport being built. Do you have any history on it? Yes, I do. It was RNVR Sanderling. I think it was a Royal Naval Reserve base. And it was Sanderling was its name. And uh, then it was called Abbott's Inch. Now, am I right in thinking it was 1967? I remember the old Renfrew Airport and part of the M8 motorway is the original runway for the airport. What about that? What's the most inspirational and meaningful traditional song? Most inspirational and meaningful traditional song. Are you talking a way back? I think a man's a man for all that uh, has got the lot in it, if you look at it. So there we go. Yes, and I can remember going to uh, the airport and seeing British European Airways, BEA. And I think there was another one, was it Scottish Aviation or something like that? They've been flying out of there since the 1930s. Uh, so there we are, SNP1, Alba Party 2 in the Scottish elections. Yes, very interesting. We'll see what transpires. We'll find out more, Kareem. Morning from Britain. Absolutely. If you are on the land maths of Britain, good morning to you. Although there is no country such as Britain, it's a land mass containing three countries. Scotty, I watch you with my mum. She loves you. She says you've got beautiful energy. Nancy, what a lovely thing to say. I'll bet she's got beautiful energy and you have as well. That's how she recognized it. Thank you for sending me the TikToks, Christian. How do I access TikToks, guys? And what are they? Because I'm relatively new to all this, you see. A big up West Lothian. Oh, Rona, you don't need to big up West Lothian. It's huge. There we are. Absolutely. Brock spun. <laughs> Good morning. Dinky do to you, sir. Good morning, gamer. How are we this morning? It's 9.48, says Faith. Faith, it's 9.46. So you're a wee bit fast, but nothing gets past you, I'll tell you. You're on. You're, you're, you're telling the time very, very well there. All right, so says Faith. Dinky do, good morning. What are you doing this weekend? A bit of housework, spring cleaning. So there we are. So we'll be getting the duster out. Dinky do, be quiet, you. Can we be quiet, please? It's early on a Saturday, and Celtics got a heat. There we are. I've shushed them for you. Uh, do you play Xbox or PlayStation? I have an Xbox 6. I put six eggs in the one box. Yes, Scotty, spot on about the airport. There we are, Johnny boy. I used to be able to take the old red Smitty Road, and there was a plane up on a pole at the gate. How about that? Anybody remember that? Who's the most famous person you've met and the nicest celebrity you've met? I've met many, many, many very famous people and very nice people. People will say to me, do you want to come and meet so-and-so? And I'll say, who's so-and-so? And they'll say, he's the managing director of naming some huge company. And I say, well, is he a nice guy? That's the stuff. You know, I mean, it's interesting. It's small amounts of money in the gifts. Ah, Rona, I thank you. And where do you see it? Any ideas? Lend me a fiver, says Ryan. Ryan, what for? You have to give us a reason. Morning, Scotty. Have you had your porridge? Oh, yes, Bjorn. I am all breakfasted. Haven't had the main course yet, though. I thought I'd leave that till after the live. There we are, dinky-doo. 
Now, uh, Anim, you need to just go and grow up. That's what you need to do. Check out Scotty McClure's TikToks, and there's one there telling you to grow up. That's all it says is grow up. Do you have a matching jacket for your flat cap? Yes, I do. If you look on the TikToks, you'll see me wearing it. So there we are. So have a wee look on the TikTok videos. Uh, Scotty, speak tonight. Kareem, Kareem, absolutely. Have a fabulous day. Stay dinky-doo. Congratulations on the house. And thank you for your lovely kindness and generosity with the TikToks. What's your views on Pollock? I love Pollock. Beautiful people. I used to have an old friend who was the minister of St. James's Pollock. He was called the Reverend James Curry. So there you are. And uh, I can remember the old Pollock shopping centre, and of course, now you've got that wonderful silver bun. Absolutely incredible. But the Pollock and Knits Hill people are quality. I'll send you how to access. It's pretty easy in the setting selection. Rona, that's very kind of you. So there we go. Now then, uh, can I get a shout out for Natasha? It's her birthday. Yes, you can, Sol. Scotty, um, how are you? I hope you're okay. You're the best. You star. Brandon, what a lovely thing to say. I am fine. I hope you are well. Absolutely. So what in the universal credits is this? This TikTok world famous is Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, popping up to do a live TikTok just for you and to say dinky do. Scotty, the Royal Ordnance Factory shut and the Army and Navy now supplied by Germany and South Africa. Yeah, but I mean... We get 75% of our food and 50% of our medicines from the EU. What on earth were we thinking? What were all the wee xenophobes doing? Let's leave Europe. This trust, let's, let's ask the ordinary people. I don't think it's all that good an idea because I don't think that the ordinary people are all intelligent enough to give the right answer. We've had two referenda in uh, this country. We've had one on Scottish independence, and we've had one on Europe, and both have failed the people. They might have benefited the wealthy, but they failed the people. So there you are. So think about it. Referenda. Which decade that you've lived in do you remember most fondly? All of them. Every second of my life. Even the challenges, I've only met one bad man, a guy that took money off me in a business deal. And apart from that, every second of my life, I have appreciated. Thank you for that. Are you a Tory? Uh, no Marxist, I am apolitical. Are you a Tory? Is your handle Marxist a false handle? You sound like a Tory even if you ask somebody that. So there we are. I don't know what a Tory sounds like, mind you. Hello, Scotty. How are you doing? It's been a wee while. Davido, it's been far too long. Don't leave it so long next time. Guys, can you all go on to uh, the Scotty McClure YouTube channel and subscribe? There's 1,246 or was it 1,250 videos for your edification, education, and delight. I bought my wife a glue stick instead of a lipstick. She's still not talking to me. <laughs> naughty, naughty. So there you are. Uh, you live okay. Yes, whatever floats your boat. Absolutely. Scotty, what radio station are you on nowadays? My aunt is asking me. I'm not on right at the moment. I was on till last year, and I'm not on right at the moment. And we're just coming up to 29 years of Scotty McClure. Woo! How good is that? Because you try your best on the videos, I'll try and give you support. Brandon, I think you should. Yes, I've always tried my best. It might not be good enough for some people, but if it's good enough for you, then that is excellent and dinky-doo. You deserve to more support than this. I mean, you're an actual star. I am, Brandon. I am a huge star. But remember... A huge star should never, ever be afraid to start again. We had a wonderful, wonderful actor 
called Sir John Mills. And he was interviewed on the telly when I was down in Yorkshire, and he was starring in a theatre production at the age of 96. I think he was 96. Maybe it was 92. Anyway, they asked him why he was doing it, because John Mills was like a major, major movie star. And he said, actors need to be frightened. <laughs> <laughs> to keep them interested and interesting. And I feel that me popping up on TikTok is like an athlete going out for a run. It just keeps me chatting away for the nation, and apparently it cheers up a lot of people I've been finding out. So there we go. I should by now, we've been up four weeks, and I should by now have half a million followers. So please get following. Watch your pronouns, you don't mind me. Asik, uh, we never, ever, ever ask anyone's pronouns on here. We are inclusive. So there we are. We don't have that divisive question. Yes, because that's what it is, actually. It's an embarrassment. So it's not I mind you asking. I don't mind you asking anything. But we don't ask these things because we are modern, 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 way, way, way beyond all that. We are massively inclusive. So you come on here, you're welcomed regardless. We don't need to know your pronouns. Okay. We are the people, says Amen. Well, if you say we are the people, then I might have to say if it was football, mom the hoops, you see, just for balance. It enters a balance. Yes, yes. Scotty, what's your views on the lockdown rules in place for everyone except for demonstrators? Sean Boy, I think these demonstrators should actually be jailed. We might have to build a camp for them, you know, because the problem is stuff gets hijacked. I was appalled at the behavior of when that little girl got murdered. And these people turned out and there was fighting and arguing with the police and arrests. What kind of vigil is that? What kind of respect is that showing? Tot, 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 tot. We don't turn out. You know, there we are. So there we go. So Miss Queen, there you have. We should never have left the EU. We're a poorer country now. We're absolutely beggared. You know, uh, I'll try not to. I've been working a lot lately, never had a chance to get on. Ah, DeVito. Well, it's lovely to have you with us. And Dinky, you don't work too hard. Remember, the only true wealth is life. Yes. Who's going to be your next first minister? The next first minister, I would think it will be Nicola Sturgeon. So there you go. Cool story, bro, but I did ask. Not at all viral. No, you ask. Are you a filthy naughty Tory? We don't know if such a thing exists, Angel. So there you are. I mean, I'm apolitical, so I'm not anything, you see. But are you asking, are you a Tory and you're wanting support? Is this why you're asking? There we are. My dad used to listen to you, but certainly uh, with regards to hygiene and naughtiness, absolutely not. Yeah, my dad used to listen to you when eight was younger. He's passed on now. When you were younger, you were eight where you are. Is that uh, predictive test? Bless your dad, I say. Wonderful that he knew you and you knew him. That's what I will say, and I'm glad you enjoyed listening to Scotty McClue. Good man, Scotty Dinkydoo. Happy Easter. Stephen Dinkydoo. Can everybody follow us, please? We have lots to talk about and so little time to do it. And hello, my friend. Hello, Captain Levy. How are you? Uh, Scotty McCat died. I'm really upset. I understand it. My dog died three weeks ago. Uh, so there we are. Uh, Dell boy, fantastic. I remember listening to your, your shows. Never heard of you since Angel Eyes. Angel Eyes, are you an alien life form from another planet? So there you are. And uh, do you just deal with dirty, filthy people? Or uh, or what? I mean, what what's behind all your questioning? Scotty McClure is perhaps the most famous man in the world. Better known than the likes of Donald Trump. 
Up the Yorkshire! Absolutely hail, lads. Thank you, Scotty. You're a gem of a man. Best regards. Gags, not at all. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you for following. Please follow everybody. We have thousands and thousands of viewers, but, uh, you know, only about, I think, five and a half thousand followers. Not saying this because it's you, but Scotland and the Scots are beautiful. My own experience is Thunderfly. All people are beautiful when you get to know them, apart from one bad man that I've met. There we are. Do you remember the caravan park at Lang Bank? My dad was taking us for a walk and get a drink. This West Ferry it was known as. I remember it very, very well. So they were, sorry, never heard of you. Well, Angel, you need to get out more. Or in fact, with the pandemic, you need to stay in more. And you need to check out Scotty McClure. So there you are. I think you're probably the only person in the world that's never heard of Scotty McClue. What does that make you feel like? There we are. Have you ever heard of, uh, who else have we got? Have you ever heard of, um, oh, who could we have that might be as famous as Scotty McClue? Certainly. Have you ever heard of Donald Trump and Joe Biden? Does that ring a bell? There we are. Um, who will own all the gold and rich minerals in Scotland when you go independent? The people of Scotland. So there you go. Scotty, my cat died tragically. I know, Michael, I am very sorry to hear that. So there you are. And I send you strength. There we are. Thank you for sending your sunglasses. In here's Angel Eyes again. Never heard of you, mate. What are we so... Do you just sit in your own angel? Do you not, do you not communicate with anybody? Or do you ever go online? Is this your first time online? There we are. Well, welcome, I say. Welcome, welcome. John Mills, Anthony Quayle, Richard Todd, some of my favourites. Oh, Thunderfly. Uh, Richard Barton. Um, who else have we got? Uh, Richard Barton, John Mills. Ice Cold in Alex, Sylvia Sims. Amazing, absolutely fantastic. Richard Todd, of course, the Dam Busters, wonderful actor. Um, so there we are. Who else have we got? Dirk Bogard. There's another one of around that era. Uh, what about Alec Guinness? Have you ever seen Tunes of Glory about a Scottish regiment after the Second World War? Try and get on to that. Tunes of Glory. Fantastic stuff. But certainly, uh, what else have we got? Uh, the Anthony Quayle. Um, who else? Who else have we got? Alan Cuthbertson. Very, very well known uh, of that era as well. So there we go. Fantastic stuff. My mum's boyfriend, Scottish. Sometimes I can't understand what he says. Alexia is very difficult. The Scottish people are very, very clever. And you have to really be on the ball to follow what they are saying. Do you know what I mean? Very important. Very, very clever people. There's a guy, Angel says, pretentious, aren't you? No, Angel. What you're doing there is what's known as classic projection. So you see yourself as pretentious and uh, you're trying to project that onto me when you don't even... No, mate, you see, I can tell by your language, I'm a communication specialist, and I can tell by your language that you're very defensive and very lost and very confused. And you found Scotty McClue, you love Scotty McClue, but you don't know it yet. You see what I mean? So there you are, nothing pretentious about me. In fact, quite the reverse. Guys, am I pretentious? No. Remember the clocks go forward tonight. Get your clocks forward. Is it a clocks one tonight? Is it tonight? Oh my goodness me. So we lose an hour. Where are you from? I am from the world, the universe. Scott McClure's world famous. Somebody says over one billion. I think uh, it was nearer two billion at one point have heard of Scotty McClure. So there we are. Uh, the police start the aggro almost every time. Yeah, but Angel, people shouldn't be there. No police, no aggro. Have you got it? There we go. That's kind of how it works. Never you heard of you. You are unimportant. No, Angel. I'm very, very important to the people who love me. 
Yes, and I'm obviously very, very important to you, or you wouldn't be watching. So there we go. True wealth is gold. Um, so there you are. Were you ever a teacher? What a nice idea. Never heard of you. Do you have five minutes of fame? No, 50 years of fame. So there we are, 50 years. Absolutely, television and radio. So there we go. Good morning, sir. What a lovely surprise. Steve James Jams. I thought I'd just join you all and see who's about. Can everybody follow me, please? We've only started this four weeks ago and we're short on followers. Everybody watches. Only five and a half thousand have followed. Oh, and also, can you subscribe to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel? Angel, you should do that. That would be good for you. So there we are. Sean Boy. Angel eyes. There we are. My son's a police officer. Good Sean Boy. You tell her. You're daft as a brush, that one. You're wearing beige. You look brilliant. You like the beige, Steve James Jams? I thank you, sir. Legend. Shush, Scotty. You support England. Everybody supports England. It's a fabulous country. They're just not so keen on Westminster running Scotland from a, a remote place. There we are. Johnny Boy says, Alex, I was not helping the SMP. So it comes across a bit. No, I don't see that at all, Johnny Boy. I mean, I think if you'd been through what he'd been through, would you have handled it as well as he's handled it? So there you are. And remember, this man was proved 100% innocent. So there you go. Uh, ask the miners, the printers, the poll tax protesters. There we are. And I think you'll hear different. Angel eyes. We always ask that. What you don't understand because you're new here and you're gobbing off at everyone thinking you're somebody, we are the miners, the printers, the poll tax protesters, the BLMs. We are. That is my audience. Do you see what I mean? The only person who's out of step is you. Your joke. So there we go. That's the stuff. Do you want independence for Scotland? I think Scotland would do very, very well economically on its own. So there you are. I'm not bothered about politics. Blue-blooded. Tell us about the Kelpies. We love the Kelpies. They are sort of mythical creatures. So there we are. They're there. Fable, myth, and legend. Scotty McBrilliant. More like Steve Jeff Jams. Scotch eggs or Scotch pies? Both. Both. Don't make me choose. I love both. Slightly different times. I like a hot Scotch pie and a cold Scotch egg. Very interesting that, isn't it? So there you are. Scotty, you're more famous than Robert Burns from the Strone. Absolutely, Johnny boy. <laughs> Up the Strone. Who have we got here? Still never heard of you. Well, Angel, you won't have. Until you start getting yourself an education, a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of understanding, a little bit of background research, all that stuff, you'll never have heard of anybody, you know? You ever heard of James Watt? So there you are. Fantastic. Now, uh, FIFA, uh, for the people, there we are. Your views on Richard Branson. Seems a fine fellow. I haven't had any business dealings with him, so I don't really have any views. Do you ever take a breath? All the time. That's how I keep living. How do I go live? I don't know. I just uh, Tell me a fact. What fact would you like? Bonnie Prince Charlie was asked to become the king of America after independence. There's a wee fact for you. Did you know that? Can you follow me, please, everybody? Morning, Scotty. How you, mate? You okay? The Kelpies. Come on, guys. I need followers, followers, followers. How are you, Donald? Dinky-doo. Wasn't Alan Cuthbertson in Budgie with Adam Faith? No, that was Ian Cuthbertson. Alan Cuthbertson is a very distinguished-looking actor. Uh, Guns of Navarone, when the little boy was heard earwigging at the door, and they pulled him in, and he said, what do I do? I caught this boy listening at the door. He said, what shall I do with him? He said, shoot him. He said, and if the major protests, shoot him too. 
And I think the major might have been Alan Cuthbertson, the second you see him, you know, but big Ian Cuthbertson, who was actually the son of Sir William Cuthbertson, a very, very famous uh, doctor and physician. Uh, so there we are. Uh, and big Ian was, uh, he was, he was budgy talking away like that in that voice. Budgie, you're going to bounce some. Would you get your feet off the genuine leather seats on my jag? Uh, 70s TV better than today. Step two on the buses. Budgie, oh, Johnny Boy, without a shadow of doubt, the high point. The BBC were never quite so good at learning that they had a hit, like Dad's Army. Somebody said even the BBC were beginning to realise they had a hit on their hands. But ITV was miles ahead. People like Lou Grade. And somebody said if Lou Grade had been alive today, Scotty McClue would never be off our television screens. Because people went round the television companies. One guy went round with a programme. And he said, I do these little puppets and, yeah, you know, they, they do all, and uh, everybody went, nah, nah, nah. He went to Lou Grade, Lord Grade, Sir Lou, and Lou said, I'll take as many, a big cigar. I'll take as much of this as you can give me. What was it? Fireball XL5, Jerry Anderson, right? Um, Captain Scarlet and the Mysterons, Stingray, Thunderbirds. How many generations were watching that? Yeah. Another guy went to him and said, well, you, you know, went, well, didn't go to Lou the first, went to other companies. Do you want to take this? What is it? It's sort of puppets and thing. Nah, 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 nah. Went to Sir Lou. I take as much of this as you can give me. Yeah. And it was the Muppets. How much fun have we had for watching the Muppets? I think some of them are still on here. So there we go. What's the name of the actor who played the German who travelled with them in Ice Cold and Alex? That's Anthony Quayle. Yes, absolutely thunderfine. Wonderful guy. Good morning, beautiful man. Good morning, Sir Dinky Do. Good morning, Scotty. So there we are. So this we angel eyes. I think what well, we dump her. Never heard of you. Had anyone else? Millions and millions listening every night. Angel, go and uh, look it up. I, I'll, I'll mute you if you're struggling, and then you can join us when you can behave. Right, guys, can uh, have more followers, please? Everybody following Scotty McClure. We're live saying dinky doo for you Saturday morning. That's the only reason you want independence, because of the rich minerals in it. No, we want independence because Scotland has been independent for thousands of years, and then it's been ripped off for 313 years, and it's time to get our country back. Sound familiar? Brexit? All that stuff? Get our country back. Get out of Europe? Yeah, that's it. Get out of Westminster? There we are. That sort of idea. You are an important bloke. NZ loves you. Sean Stark, we love NZ. I've never been there. My mother went for a month. She sent me back a postcard and said, I am dipping my toe in the Pacific Ocean. I think I've touched heaven. And what she loved was lemons coming off the trees and things like that. Let's see the glitzy. I'm Scottish, mate. Good Martin. Can you say hi to Ruthie and Doug? My mum and dad, they like you. Ruthie and Doug, dinky do. We like you. Thanks, Matty. There we are. Thanks for following, guys. Can everybody follow? Don't be slow at following. Don't go, ah. Just follow. Follow Scotty McClure. Because this is going very, 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 very big. Everything I touch goes big. So there we are. Sean Boy, 1888. Who's law to oppress people who want a better life? There we are. Angel Eyes. Everybody's watching. The people that you think you represent are all watching Scotty McClure. This is your thing. Grow up. Look at, I've actually put it on a TikTok video. It's six seconds and it just says, grow up. So there you are. That's what you're wanting. Dinky do. Going to put CFAX in the telly and get the weather. Do you remember CFAX? And what was the other one? What was the other one called on the other side? Uh, the Oracle. 
We loved it. So there we go. Uh, are the pictures all of you? They are. They're all presents, Andy, presented to me by people that just respect Scotty McClure. That, that one, and there's another one for you. There's another one there. Do you see that one? Hey! Oh, wonderful. So there we go. Guys, follow, follow, follow. I'm French. I love English people. I love England. Je ne crois pas, je ne parle pas français très vite. Si tu parles lentement, peut-être je comprends. Oui, oui, d'accord. Comment s'appelez-vous? Oui. Um, je m'appelle Persanze59. Oui. There we are. Thanks for following. Sank? No. Sank Neuf? Is that right? Or Quint Quintet Neuf? <laughs> uh, are there any brown people in Scotland? Yes. It's named after a clan. So you've got brown, black, white, Turner, all part of a Scottish clan. And they changed their name... Uh, after the risings of 15 and 45. So there you are. You look like you enjoy fox hunting a slight bit too much for it to be a concern. Slight bit too much. For, uh, no, I enjoy fox loving. Look at my videos and you'll see a wee visitor to McClue Towers. So there you are. Never hunted in my life. Although I am a crack shot, but I don't shoot. So can you say, uh, no, I can't say that, Alex. I don't think that's fair. You're calling yourself an albatross, though. An albatross is regarded as a weight round somebody's neck from uh, the uh, poem, The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, because you should never, ever, ever shoot seabirds. They are watching from the UK, Egyptian. How lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Dinky doo. Nah. Actually, I mean the sergeant with John Mills. Anthony Quayle played the German. Yes, he did. The sergeant with John Mills was in Ice Cold and Alex. Um, who else was with him? I'll tell you what, we've got a huge resource here. Put it out to the nation. Guys, who played the sergeant in uh, Ice Cold in Alex? So there we are. Thank you very, very much. What do you think of Boris Johnson? Well, Boris Johnson's Boris Johnson. Scotty, did you ever drink in the Bishopton Hotel? I'll put a drink behind the bar, Trevor Grace. Johnny boy, I don't drink alcohol, and I didn't drink in the hotel. I used to go into the Golf Inn. So there we are, because I loved that pub. Fantastic. Yes, the Golf Inn, Bishopton. Scotland, but it sounds absolutely interesting. So there you are. So we shall see what is what. Um, I love this. Thank you, boo-hoo. Scottish, British, and always will be. Well, you, you will be because British just means you live on a landmass called Britain. But there's no country called Britain, so your country is Scottish. And you will always be Scottish. Your country's Scotland. There we are. All right. Now, the Union flag may well disappear, so be prepared to uh, march under the saltire. Yes, absolutely. Do you like jammy dodgers? No, I think they're, nah, they're always up to something. What do you mean the biscuits? I love the biscuits. What's your favorite golf course in Scotland? I don't have one because I don't golf. But I think probably some of my preferred courses, if I did golf, would be uh, Greenock, very much up on the hill there, Teamouth Castle, um, South End, uh, what have we got down there? Machrahanish, Prestwick. Buchanan Castle, St. Andrews, the Old Course, London Lynx. Uh, where else would I probably go? Muirfield, 
Uh, where else would I have probably gone? These are all the Scottish ones. Tunbury, of course. Um, Loch Lomond, because the clubhouse is the old Ross Dew house that I used to be in a lot as a youngster. So they are, do you like haggis? Uh, yes, of course. Can you change the record? Yes, Thunderfly. Let me change. Oh, Angel Eyes, can you change? Oh, I, she's she's uh, lost the plot, that one. <laughs> Poor wee soul sitting staring at the ear. What station are you on now? We're not on at uh, the moment, but there's talk I'll be going back on very, very soon. That'd be amazing. Jeff Guy, uh, you don't have a friend. She's not called that, and it's not her birthday. Now, Jeff Guy, I don't know if you are just completely devoid of intelligence. That's a possibility at the moment. But do you really feel that that is the very best you can come up with on perhaps the top TikTok live in the world? Right? This is Scotty McClure's TikTok Live. This is very, very high caliber. And is that really the best you can come up with? Now, I'm not going to give you a lifetime ban, but I want you to think about your actions and what level you operate at. All right. There you are. That'll do you for now. That's him had a wee telling off. Son of Greenock here, ah, grumpy dinky -doo. Have you ever golfed up in Greenock Golf Course? Are you Scottish? Give me a second. I think there's a bit of the Scot in me. Definitely. Definitely. I'm from Dundee. Are you close? Oh, everybody's close to Dundee. We love it. Dundee, Aim Sterling, having a pay. Uh, hello from Australia. Hello, Taylor. Lovely to have you from Australia, from down under. Fair Dinkum Cobble, lovely having you with us. Wow, says Ella. Are you enjoying that, Ella? Hits 1K to go live, Will Jones. Excellent, good stuff. Right, thank you. Guys, can you all follow me, please? We're very, very short on followers. We've been up for almost three weeks, I think, and uh, we'll be lucky if we've got 5,500 followers. But we've had thousands almost uh, half a million viewers to the Scotty McClure lives. It's huge, huge. So everybody follow. Have you ever met Andy Stewart, Scotty? I have. Yes, sadly, he's passed away now. He went to about 59 years old, um, and he was a great character, and I worked with him at Grampian Television in Aberdeen. We did a Hogmanay show together. So there we are, Andy Stewart, hey, he used to play the old fella, but by then he was looking like an older fella. You know, great guy. His, um, he, quite a big family, and uh, his son is a well-known actor. So there you are. Um, so fantastic. Derry, do you still what? No, I don't want there now, Terry, no. Do you still want there, Terry? This is amazing info. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Sean. Wow. Fantastic. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Luke. Thanks for following, guys. Very, very much appreciated. Follow Scotty McClure, guys. Thank you for all your gifts, your diamonds, your coins, your TikToks. I'll need to find out how to access all that. Independence Day isn't actually the 4th of July. Uh, no, it may well not be, Sean Boy. How very interesting. Wonderful. But where is the Catter Shree? Are you posh? Tony, you can't get more ordinary than Scotty McClure. So there we are. So no, I'm not posh. Uh, how Scots are feeling after the win last night? Well, I think there might be one or two sayer heads. <laughs> Scotty, do you know what the beanie is? Yes, it's a hat look. There we are, but I'm not going to wear it. I have one somewhere, but I'm not going to wear it. Now, uh, Jeff Guy, we've sorted you out before. Uh, I love your knowledge. You should go on the chase. Thank you, Sapper, for sending me TikTok. What's going on here, says Big Daddy Bobbit? Big Daddy Bobbit, we are watching Scotty McClue live on TikTok with the rest of the world. Cool hat, I thank you. Joe 90, 
That was another one. Good. Joe 90. Yeah, get it, bestie. Absolutely. Don't spray it. Did I spray it? I'm so sorry. Fireball XL5. I wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. Sorry, did I spray it? I'll cover to you. There we are. I do apologize. Way you could go on mastermind. Yeah, but I've always wondered. I don't know what it would be like when the. Uh, I remember Magnus. I knew Magnus when he worked at the BBC in Scotland. I remember. Um, what would it be like once the lights go down and you're in the big chair? Do you see what I mean? I watched the modern version. So there we are. Uh, hi, I'm from Italia. Pizza, pasta. Mafia, Ferrari, Lamborghini, Mamma Mia, slap of the cheeks, hey, 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 see, see, there we are, fantastic, Bella, Bella, do you wish you were on TV? Well, Terry, I've been on TV for so long, but having said that, I think this program, what we're doing right now on TikTok, no frills, no fancies, on a Friday night for an hour, on commercial television would be an absolute winner. There we are. That's what I think. What did I just scroll into? Ashley, you scrolled into Scotty McClue's live on TikTok, the big one. What are your three favorite war films as you seem to be very knowledgeable? Where Eagles Dare, absolute belter. The Dam Busters, absolute belter. Reach for the Sky with Kenneth Moore as Douglas Bader. Absolute Belter. Uh, the Battle of Britain. Absolute Belter. Um, what else have we got? The one that the Calcutta Light Horse. What was it called? Roger Moore's in it as the guy. That's an absolute belter. David Niven. Fantastic stuff. So there's, how's that for starters? There we are. That will give you a start. The Wild Geese. There's another belter. Hello, dinky do, dinky do. Do you watch Cash in the Attic? Yes, I do. Billy Connolly or Kevin Bridges? Both. They are different in their comedy, but both outstanding comedians. Very, 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 very funny. There we are. There we are. You're funny, says TMCD. Thank you, TMCD. Appreciate it. Why leave the UK and go with your tail between your legs to join the EU? Terry, there's no tail between the legs. Let's have this straight. Give you a little bit of background because I lived through it. In the 60s, we beggared ourselves with the Second World War. The empire had disappeared and we were just about bust. We begged on our bended knees to get into Europe. Winston Churchill's dearest wish was to have a United States of Europe with a single European army with a single commander. Yeah, I think he fancied himself as the commander, mind you. And that was his plan in 1946. So the EU came to pass, or the common market. We begged to join it. We got knocked back by General Charles de Gaulle, yes, who was an old pal of Churchill's. Pal and a bit of an adversary as well. Anyway, they got on very well, though. And um, we got knocked back. We begged and begged again to join, and we joined. Then we had 50 years of peace and prosperity. Otherwise, we'd have gone bust. And then together with our dear friends and allies, Germany, until about a year ago, we ended up controlling over 30% of the total market of 510 million people and 28 countries. They then, as a political party stunt, because there was argy-bargy within the Tory party, they said, let's put it to the people. Every, the underestimated, yeah, every xenophobe, every unintelligent person, every dafty, and we ended up, they're going, oh, I want our country back, I want our country back, because it would have helped very rich people to avoid tax. So that's what happened. Then, instead of saying, thanks very much for your vote, we'll, we'll bear it in mind, because they didn't need to act on it, the referendum had the same legal standing as an opinion poll. 
See, I'm giving you knowledge you don't know anything about. Then we came out of Europe for absolutely no reason at all, apart from to help a few Hurry Henrys. Our country hadn't been anywhere. We hadn't lost any sovereignty. We were still using the pound sterling. Everything was absolutely dinky-doo. And then we came out of Europe and beggared ourselves. Now, with almost no clout, we have to go around cap in hand saying, do you want to trade with us? when 75% of our own food and 50% of our medicine comes from Europe. How mad is that? The vaccine rally would not have happened if we'd all stayed in and shared resources. So, you've got this. Now, pilots say airlines have to apply for permits to fly to Europe. Madness. Just madness. And it's cost us $200 billion pounds with absolutely nothing to show for it yeah so when you're told you're paying for covid you're going to be paying for brexit as well okay okay there you go i didn't know you supported independence scotty newfound respect well baba no what i'm saying is scotland would do very well as an independent country because unlike a lot of people i know every penny that's in scotland my war films, The Longest Day, Ice Cold and Alex, Where Eagles Dare. Where Eagles Dare, I don't know how many times I've seen it, I saw it first in the pictures. I sit on the edge of my seat. There you go. Absolutely funny, it says TMCD. Thank you, TMCD. He's loving it. Uh, do you fry Mars bars? No, 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 I just, I just eat them as they are. I have them cold. I have them cold. Guys, can you all follow me, please? Fantastic stuff. Very, very important. Does your mum still shop at Tesco's? Well, my mum doesn't because she's passed away, but um, you might see me there. So there you go. So if you're down, say hello. Did you see the rugby yesterday? I was doing a live, so I didn't get that. There we go. I'd love for you to do a trivia live where we can test you with quiz questions. Thunderfly, bring it on. Always delighted. If I can't answer, I can't. Uh, there's NASA. So there you are. NASA sneezed and had a wee accident. Is that bad? Well, it's not so good for you. There we are. I would check yourself. There we are. Um, I care about you, says he is a racist, and you support a football team and you're calling yourself racist. Tell us more about why you think you're racist. Uh, did you, didn't know you, oh yes, absolutely, so there we are. Fantastic. ODKP. Scotty, you're a millionaire yet? No, Johnny boy. No, but I am one of the richest men in the world because I get to talk to you. See? There we are. How fantastic is that? Have you ever tried Canadian? I've tried all sorts of things, Kyle, all these whiskies, but I don't drink alcohol, so no point. So there we are. Pronouns, Lucy, you never, ever, ever ask anybody pronouns on here because we're all inclusive. Yeah, we're way, way, way past all that. Uh, so there we go. Fantastic. Papan, we've got that now. You don't need to keep spamming. There we are. If we leave the UK, are we joining the EU back? Perhaps, I would think, we'd get a good deal, I would reckon, to be there we are. Kannst du Deutsch sprechen? Nein, ich spreche Deutsch. Ich bin ein Ausländer, nicht verstehen. Thoughts in Aberdeen, Scotty? Ah, oh, what a fine city. The Granite City, one of my favourites. McClough, of course, was up there for a long time working for the Grumpian. And saying, Fuse your dues to Aberdeen, while I up there, and taking a good look here, and there's a good kind of folk uh, supporting us and all that kind of thing. And of course, you had the North Sund, the North Sund as well, fantastic. There we are, dinky do. Lossy Mouth Golf Course, ah, Harry, I should have added that Lossy Mouth is a belter down by the sea there. Beautiful. And you can sit up in the hotel and have a refreshment and watch your mates teeing off. Uh, if we leave the UK, we're joining the UK back, the, the EU back. Yes, hopefully, hopefully. Morning, Scotty, morning. I thought you were dead. I used to love your radio show. Well, Francis, apparently not. So there's good news. 
for both of us. Uh, so there we are. Chris, thank you very much for your invitation there. Uh, my cousins from there, says Eric. There we are. Wonderful stuff. Now then, uh, your time is near, mate. So, oh, he's talking to somebody else. Fantastic. And um, what else have we got? Morning, sir. Morning, Louis. Um, do you agree that... I don't know. I don't know who that would be. Murray Golf Course, Lost in Mouth, is a good golf course. Absolutely. I love it. Sitting out in a summer's day at the hotel. Oh, looking at the lighthouse and seeing the jets flying past. So there we are. Uh, Jake, what a strange question. Jake, you mustn't assume everybody lives your lifestyle. So there you are. Uh, do you play Fortnite, Scotty? Only once a week. Uh, favourite Aberdeen pub? Oh, my favourite Aberdeen pub. For about the, um, for about the Adney Arms at Newbra. <laughs> Have you ever met Ant and Dick from ITV? I love them. What shows were you on? I used to read the news, Scarlet. So I would be preparing stuff in the newsroom when Ant and Dick would have been on, you see. All right, son. Hello, Ash. Absolutely. Used to listen to you as a kid. Dinky do. Greetings from London. Love to have you from London. Did you watch the rugby last night? Uh, no, I was doing a live pop up for you. Scotty, what do you think? What do you think of Scotland's win last night? Fantastic. Wonderful. Good morning, Scotty, from the Vale of Evesham. I love Evesham. That's the route I used to take in when I was going to Berkshire to avoid heading in and then back out the M4. So I would go through the Vale of Evesham. Hello, nice to meet you from the Philippines. Yoli, lovely to meet you from the Philippines. Welcome, welcome, welcome to TikTok's Top Talk Show. Are you rich, Christian? I am rich beyond belief because I get to talk to you on TikTok. I just don't have any money. There we are. But if you want to send me a diamond or two, do. So there we go. Notifications. What can we say about the level you operate at? I think you're so low, you could probably get under a door wearing a top hat. So there you are. So go and have a think about your life. Remember, you've been lucky enough to stumble on TikTok's top talk show. And why are you behaving like that? Is that the caliber you want to operate at for the rest of your life? Have a wee think about your behavior notifications. Hi from Canada. Coco, lovely to have you. Coco sent us the maple leaf from Canada. We love it. Guys, this is pre-recorded. Oh, miles, miles pre-recorded. So there we are. I'll write hi, miles on it, and you can tell me if it's pre-recorded, right? Are we ready? Uh, wait till I get a pencil. This'll do, this'll do, this'll do. Hi, Miles, live. There you go, Miles. How's that, son? Can you read that there? Have we got it right? Yeah, does that make sense? Wait till I see. Hold on. I'll just check. Yeah, there we are. Right. How's that looking? Hi, Miles Live. Yeah. Is that pre-recorded, Miles? woo -hoo! There we go. There you are. Miles has just been handed his. Right. This is from yesterday. No, no, no. This is from today, Miles. There we are. This is from today, Miles. Absolutely. Did you know Arthur Montford very well? He was a great friend of mine, actually. Sadly, no longer with us. And an absolute gentleman. And, of course, I worked with him at Scottish Television as well, as knowing him as a Grinokian. So there you are. This is a video. He ain't replying to our comments. Miles. How slow is Miles, guys? IQ of one, maybe? Yeah. Okay, Miles, you got it? Right, we ain't replying to Miles' comments, so he's, he's pursuing his idea. The guns of Navarone. Yes, Mark, absolutely. 
Uh, he's live. He's just behind a bit. Yeah, behind a wee bit. War film trivia. Who was the only act on both The Dirty Dozen and The Magnificent Seven? So was that uh, The Dirty Dozen and The Magnificent Seven? Who did we have in The Magnificent Seven? Was Lee Marvin in The Magnificent Seven? Donald Sutherland? Um, who else? Telly Savalas? Oh, we've got so many. We've got so many. I like your hat. Think you are English people, Scottish. Uh, well, everybody really comes from the old country. We all came from Ireland. From Well, we came from the African Rift Valley in East Africa. Do you like tea? I love it. I've got Errol Grey here. Ah, please can you say happy birthday to my mate Adam. He's 23 today. Guys, can you all follow me, please? Uh, us working class pay for a subsidised bar in the House of Commons, which is wrong. Scrag, it's not actually wrong because the amounts are tiny. It's like the kind of half-witted idiot that moans about the Queen uh, getting money when in actual fact the royal family are virtually self-financing and bring in £2 billion personally and tourism in this country brings in £210 billion. There we go. So who else have we got here? Absolute truth, I'm telling you. What are we learning about? Everything. Are you from Peaky Blinders? Yep. I'll just have a wee peaky at you. <laughs> there we are. How are the Germans discovered in the Eagle has landed? Uh, how are the Germans discovered in the Eagle has landed? Um, they're in the church. I seem to remember, and does some Jenny Agatha's in it, isn't she? Does she say something to somebody? So there we are. Uh, what's happening with Nicola Sturgeon? Says Gilly. She's the first minister of Scotland. Woo! -hoo! Fit like, fit like, fuja doos. Lots of red golf course. Entirely typhoons flying over. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, you can't. You just stop your conversation. Here they are says, what are your pronouns? You never, ever, ever ask pronouns on here um, because there's no need. We're inclusive. We're way ahead of all that. Thoughts on Sheffield, Scotty? I've lived there twice in my life for two years uh, at a time and adored every second of it. A lovely, lovely, beautiful city full of fabulous people. Who plays the commanding officer of the U.S. paratroopers in the longest day? Is it John Wayne? Oh, no, that's the Green, the green Beret. Is that right? The Green Beret. Well, it, it'll all come to me. Do tell. What's your accent? I swear I've heard it. You will have his. You'll have heard my voice on television. There we are. Good morning. Welcome to television. Hello from Sweden, from Svenska. Morning, Scotty McClue. How do you do? Welcome. Thank you for sending me TikToks, guy. There we are. The Scrag is asking, what was Operation Flavius about? Fantastic stuff. What are your pronouns, Wilbert? You never, ever ask that. Morning, the Duke of Dundee. We're all Wednesday. Well, we're all Saturday at the moment. We are now learning about North and East Africa. Anim, you will learn everything on here. Fantastic. What breakfast have you had? I'm in Postle Park right now. Are you in the Postle? Are you just along the road for St. Teresa's? There we are. Fantastic. Up the Surrey. The eagle has landed. Jammers disguised as Polish troops. He tries to save a child from the mill. And his uniform, Thunderfly. Yes. And did they shoot who they thought was Churchill? I've loved you, Scotty, since I was six years old. We're on Atlantic 252. I'm now 34. Smoky, amazing. So you listened to Scotty McClue 28 years ago. Woo! -hoo! John Wayne's correct for the longest day. Was it Thunderfly? That was straight off the top of McClue's heat. So there we go. And then I had a wee moment of doubt, you know, when I said it. How are you doing? Kay, we're doing fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. There we are, dinky do. Right, I think it's time I wasn't here, guys. Have a gorgeous Saturday morning. 
Love every second of it. Love being you. It's a beautiful thing to be. Stay safe and stay fabulous. This is Scott in a clue saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are you ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Au revoir. Au revoir. And a cheery oh. Brilliant mate, thank you, Thunderfly. Lovely talking with you all. You are beautiful people. We'll pop up later and catch you then. Until then, from me, Scotty McClue, dinky-doo to all of you. Ta-ra, lads! <laughs>